Good afternoon, students. Today we're going to talk about decimal addition and subtraction. So if this is your second time watching the video, go ahead and take a pause so you can get our four problems written down. All right, so when we talk about adding and subtracting decimals, um, there's two main things that we need to kind of make sure we do or that we remember, okay? The first thing is when we add or subtract, we wanna make sure we line up the decimal points. That's really important. We wanna make sure we're adding all of the correct place values. So we're not adding like, you know, the hundredths with the ones place. The second thing we wanna do as always is we wanna make sure we follow the integer rules. So follow integer rules, okay? So we're gonna add and subtract and we're gonna make sure those rules that we had when we were adding and subtracting with uh, positive and negative numbers, we it still applies when there's decimals too, okay? So let's take a look at our four problems. The first problem is pretty straightforward, 6.2 plus 12.5. So when I wanna line up these decimal points or when I wanna add, um, I typically like to put the biggest number uh, as like the top number, but as long as we line up the decimal points, it really doesn't change our answer. So I'm going to do 12.5 and then I'm going to line up 6.2. I'm going to put the decimal point and then I need to put six and then 0.2. So when I add, I'm going to add up the different place values. So five plus two is seven. Two plus six is eight. And then one plus nothing is just one. So our answer here is going to be 18.7. I just brought the decimal point down into the answer. Okay. Let's look at another example. This time it's subtraction though. So I have 12.75 minus nine hundredths. That's how we say this decimal. So again, I'm going to line up the larger number 12.75. And then we are going to subtract. I'm going to put my decimal point and line up the other decimals. So 0 0.09 um, and let's subtract. Uh, we cannot subtract five. Um, from nine, uh, so we have to borrow. So this becomes 15. 15 minus nine is six. Um, this number over here, because we borrowed from seven becomes six. Six minus zero is six. And then 12 minus zero is gonna still remain 12. I'm gonna keep the decimal point in the same spot. So 12.75 minus nine hundredths is going to be 12.66 or 12 and 66 hundredths, okay? Let's look at some examples that have negatives, okay? So that way we can see how we're going to follow the integer rules, um, but with decimals. So we have negative 3.3 plus five and one seventh. So um, since we are adding a positive number to a negative number, and this positive number is bigger than this uh, negative number, that means we're going to end up back up in the positives. If we were to like start at negative 3.3 on the number line and work our way back up, we're going to end up in the positives. So another way to do this problem is to do 5.7 and just subtract 3.3 because the difference of these two numbers is going to be where we end up in the positive side of the number line. So seven uh, minus three is four, five minus three is two. So the answer to this is going to be positive 2.4. We're going to end up back in the positives. Um, so let's look at another example. We have negative 15.1 minus negative 3.8. So since we are subtracting a negative, remember we can rewrite this as adding the opposite. So negative 15.1 plus the opposite of negative 3.8, which would just be a positive 3.8. So if we have this situation, negative 15.1 plus 3.8, well, we're adding a number that is not gonna get us back up above zero. If we're at negative 15.1 and we only go up 3.8 spots, we're still gonna be in the negatives. So the way that we can figure out where in the negatives we're at is to do 15.1 minus 3.8. So if we do this, um, we have to borrow, this becomes a four, 11 minus eight is three, and then 14 minus three is 11. And so it's 11.3, but remember, we're still gonna be in the negative, so it's gonna be negative 11.3. So the main thing to take away, line up your decimal points, follow your integer rules, and you will be on a great track. If this is the second time that you are watching the video, please go ahead and set up the following practice problems.
Go ahead and pause and set them up. All right, and if you have trouble reading, it is 18.2 minus 31.2. 31.80 minus 29.9, 38.9 plus negative 3.85, and negative 15 minus a negative 0.42. If you have any questions, make sure you write them down, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!